This Raw Vision video is brought to you by Metro Solar, proud partner of the Richmond Football Club. Matt. Yeah, thanks, Levi. Uh, before I get started, Newey, jeez, mate, how'd you do this? A heart transplant, you're yeah, playing two weeks later. Fantastic effort. Um, I guess when Livo asked me to, to do this and what the jumper meant to my old man, the, the first thing that came to mind with him was, I reckon when he pulled on the Richmond jumper, it was all about being a team player. Absolutely no doubt about that. Being a team player would have been the biggest thing in his mind when he was representing the Richmond Footy Club. It would have also been to play his role and to know his role. And, you know, he did that pretty well for a number of years. And the other thing he would have said would be to take your opportunity. So I'll just tell you a little bit about his career just quickly. Came down from a small country town, Casterton, in the Western District of Victoria in 1959, and took his opportunity straight away. Played senior footy and, and played pretty well for two or three years. But then he spent a couple of years in the wilderness, played in the twos for two years, didn't even get a look in in the seniors for two whole years. Uh, then a new coach came along, Len Smith, and saw something in Dad that he liked and went to Dad and told him, I want you to play this role. And it was a completely different role for him, but it was a role that suited him and it was to handball. So he got another chance, he took that opportunity and he became a vital ingredient in a building emerging Richmond team in 1965. And two years later was lucky enough to play in a premiership, which was a drought breaking premiership for this club. We'd been in the wilderness for 25 years. So he certainly took his opportunity and made the most of it. But I've got no doubt he was a team player and he played his role and he did it very well and ended up playing in a premiership. And I guess there's some similarities there with Taylor and, and Camden. You know, Taylor, you've played some good footy already down at the Geelong Footy Club, but you hit a little bit of adversity, a few setbacks, but now you get your second opportunity. Um, I know you've been a Richmond supporter as a kid. How bloody good's this, mate? You're representing the Richmond Footy Club the team you supported as a kid, and uh, I couldn't think of anything better myself. I've, I did that myself as a Richmond supporter, and it's a fantastic opportunity for you, and I know you'll grasp it uh, with both hands tonight. Well done, mate. Thanks, Good luck. And Camden, where are you, mate? You're hiding. There you are there. Um, Similar, mate, you've had faced a bit of adversity in your first few years. You probably had moments of doubt in those couple of years, wondering if, if this moment was ever going to happen. But it's here now, uh, and I think you're going to take your opportunity with both hands. Um, from what they say, you've had a fantastic pre-season. You're ready to go, so good luck. And just grab your opportunity tonight for the Richmond Footy Club. Now, I don't, know, I don't know what your roles are, but I reckon it's got a fair bit to do with your running ability. I know both of you guys are terrific runners. I think it's something that we need. Every team needs it. I think you're going to add a lot to the team. Play your role tonight with your work rate and your run, and I think you're going to have fantastic uh, years for this club. And I think just lastly, what I'll say is to all of you guys, what a, what a great opportunity. Have a look at that ground out there. I know you've all walked out on it. The Richmond Football Club gets to play on this ground every second week. It's a coliseum. It's the best sporting arena in the world. You've got the best fans in the world. If you embrace them, if you embrace this footy club, they'll embrace you. And I've got no doubt you'll all have a good year. So good luck.